Hi, my name is Mark. This is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and even simulators. Today's video, this is two days of testing back to back. We're getting ready for a double header race weekend. You know, if you, if you saw the videos recently, new body kit, new front wing profile, new motor, quite a bit of changes. So we're getting the car ready. Um, at this point, we're gonna be bringing you along so you can actually experience what we're going through and just some tuning aspects of getting the car ready for race weekend, okay? All right, so we're uh, warming up the uh, the car, and uh, we had out we had out our first session in about 30 minutes. Uh, we preheated the oil and the water just a little bit, but we want to run it for a few minutes. Um, Jeff's actually doing um, a small little wing adjustment. We're just adding a couple washers to uh, to get it uh, the horizontal position correct. That's all a minor change, and uh, that's about it. The car's ready to go. Yeah, as we look outside here, so it's overcast today. Um, you know, this Texas weather thing, right? You never really know. Um, looks like rigs are coming in, getting ready for the race weekend. Um, this is just a, uh, a member test day, that's all. But um, anyway, we'll get out here, um, our first session here in about 30 minutes, okay? All right, how's it coming along? Done. Got it? Got it? Yep. Cool. Let's, um, let's measure okay. our heights and let's see what that looks like. Here, hang on, let me, uh, let me make a note of it. Okay. The front right is 45. Okay, but uh, yeah, we definitely got a little closer. Yeah. How's it look visually? I haven't looked at it yet. You haven't got that far? Yeah, it helped a little bit. Yeah. yeah, we could always do one more washer later if we want. Folks, all we're trying to do, this is a new wing installation. Um, mounts are a little, little cockeyed, that's all it is. It's not an abnormal thing. We're, we're focused on the end plates on both sides uh, simply to get them parallel or horizontal, uh, kind of an equal height, that's all it is. So we added a little bit of spacer on one side to kind of correct that. Let's do one side here first. Yes or no, if not, we'll go back.
I'll get the wood. distribution oh that's good so the better you have so the darker the red the more heat yeah. the more that spread across the tire so that means and then this centered the, this is the center or that's that yeah so that this is inside end, center yeah. outside right oh, that's good so the front still need a little bit of a negative bit. camber removed they're still on the inside edge a bit that's what that's showing yeah but it moved the rears are close they don't need much maybe in a half a Both sides first. Okay. Does it? We got one more. Yeah, the front's really easy. We're just, uh, I mean, the balance of the car feels good. We're just, it's uh, a little bit of an experiment. And then probably just drill new holes on those bottom pieces. All right, so uh, we're here at Eagles Canyon. Here's yep. Jeff. Hey. Um, so we just went out, we ran one session this morning. And, um, you know, the car seems to, it feels good. Actually, um, we didn't need to make any changes, but we, we made a couple wing changes just for grins. Um, and we're gonna run here in the next hour. Uh, see what we can do, but I don't know when you saw the car in track, you know, that new muffler and everything did I mean, what was your observation? Sounded, sounded yeah. good. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too loud for the okay the sound deal, but Car sounds great. Looks great um, You know driver feedback from you is positive. Yeah. So yeah. we're moving in the right direction. Yeah, so we clipped out a um, What was it a 147 four I think or five five something yeah. like that? Um, not bad. It's a second off our fast record time that we had had here. We had a lot of sports cars on the track. You know, not that I'm using that as an excuse, but it, I am, I guess, right? Yeah. Old, um, old tires. Yeah. Uh, track was green track. Kind of green. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of things. So to go that fast, that quick is. Yeah. I, I'm I'm very confident we're gonna get in the 46s this weekend. You know, it's possible if the track evolves. You know driver can do his thing the car I believe is there um, you know I, I'm, I'm hopeful we can get in the 145s here at the track which would be a personal best and I think a, a track record actually I think so, so yeah um, that's what we're working on you can see here as we spin around here in uh, garage alley if you will you know a bunch of uh, a bunch of big toter homes trucks trailers you know they're starting to roll in 
um, it's it's 120 cars this weekend, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, it, this place by tomorrow is going to be <laughs> packed. <laughs> yeah. Parking here, you know, who knows what that's going to be? You know, and so far the weather's turning out okay. I mean, we look up. I mean, you see a little bit of sun trying to pop through, through here. Yeah. Um, if it's like this through the weekend, we're going to be great. Yep. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, just a quick update. And we're gonna get out here in the next hour, like I said. Um, I'll come back to you at that point and talk about differences at all on the car, okay? Welcome. Yeah, the, uh, the rear was a little on the loose side. Is 
There's any splash in there? Nope. I'm just checking everything. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. This looks familiar. Reminds me of the lard ass I got. So go up one step. All right, so we uh, we came in, we ran um, a noon session for what? Not many laps, seven laps, I think, yeah. six, seven yeah. laps. Cars feeling good, actually. We went a little, I think, too far from my point of view on the uh, uh, on the rear of the car. It felt a little loose or light, um, but we were still able to rip out what a one forty six. 146.6. Six. Yep. So we were two tenths off our track record. I think mm -hmm. that means, okay, car's good. It's going to go fast. So same, um, same old tires that we ran this morning. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the tires so. were 100 plus miles, yeah. I think. Whatever. That sounds like an excuse, which we always catch no, ourselves no, no, no. on. No, no. It's, it's yeah. not an yeah. excuse. It's that's just yeah. the car has that much more in it, which is great. That's the direction yeah. you want to go. So. so I think, you know, if weather is nice for us this weekend, um, I think uh, as the track rubbers in, you know, I think the car is there. Um, so my goal, just over sharing for everybody, I want to get into the 145 something uh, here at Eagles Canyon. and. Uh, you know, my, my, my track record previously was a 146.4. Uh, so, you know, I don't have far to go. And I think if ideal conditions, if driver does his job, um, you know, put some good rubber on the car, that kind of thing, I think, uh, you know, maybe even a mid 145 is, is possible. So we'll see, that's the goal for the weekend. But um, trying to think what else. Oh, you com commented on the uh, muffler. He took, the, he took his oh, headphones off. Yeah. And <laughs> So when he ran this morning, I had my, my headsets on and, uh, and he went by and I was like, okay, yeah. It's he's he's talking about louder. me, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. A little bit louder. And uh, so this afternoon I decided, well, I should take my headphones off. So I did, it's a lot louder. <laughs> <laughs> Loud is good. It's fast. It, it is, technically it's a muffler. There is, is a muffler there. It is. It's, it's pretty small um, and it's, uh, a race muffler. Look, the reason I put it on there, not necessarily to be louder, it saved almost about a pound. And as you guys, if you again followed along in some of the previous stuff, we shaved off almost 30 pounds on the car. So it's little things like that. That's every, all it is. Every little bit. But um, yeah, so we're ready. We go out tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow's actually another. It's a test day, but it's an SCCA day. So there'll be there'll be a bunch of the competitors out tomorrow, and um, we'll run with them on the track. You know, we'll see how good the track time is. Um, I don't know what they're going to group us in for Dep sure. Depends on if it rains tonight. Yeah, there's, there's that's, a chance that's of true. rain tonight. That's true. So hopefully the the track stays rubbered in a little yeah. bit. But. The car's ready to go. We put our rear wing back where we had it. Um, it was just a small little subtle change, but but I I felt the rear on that last session out. Even though we had had a, a couple good times, I just felt that rear was just on that edge. Um, and I wanted to uh, um, bring it back just a touch so I can, uh, you know, lean on it a little harder throughout the race, that type of thing. So um, that's good. So we'll see you in the morning. That's it for today. Um, hopefully tomorrow's another good test day. Yep, absolutely. Hey, so we're, before we wrap up here today and head out of here, I'm going to walk over here. I want to show you, have you meet Vic. 
who we've known for what, how many years now? Almost 20. So cars are getting all queued up here. Cars are getting queued up for a race weekend. Who is this guy down here with this? Looks like his, let's see, who is this guy? No, that's, that's Vic. Hey Vic, you wanna be on camera for a second? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's Vic, we've known you for how many years now? A thousand? Yeah, seems like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was fixing to run. <laughs> See, a spider, I'm running. He does not like cameras, you can tell. So what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm actually fixing doing the gear change. Are you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we got the Hallett gears in here, and we're actually putting a cross between a high planes and, uh, and gears that we think are working. Cool. Who's your driver? Uh, this one is Alex Barron, and uh, the front one is Bill Kephart. Alex is really cool. a, a GP1 driver. Yeah, is he? And he's a driver coach for Bill. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so he can get on with it. Yeah. So he's a reference point. That's it. All right. I make him go out on these. Yeah. I like that. Gears. You know what's funny? You point that out. I swear to God, every time we put the bicycle tires on, at some you roll them out at a track, somebody comes around and go, do you go fast with these on? Do you, do you too? It's like every time, it's like, yeah, we do a little ice. Yeah, I always say these are my wets. They're like big rudders, you know, you just got a big rudder out there turning it full wet. Yeah, I'm not trying to pick on people, but it's funny. You always, always get somebody asking about these that, man, do you really run with those things? <laughs> yeah, really, it does. Yeah. Anyway, we just wanted to say hi. Haven't seen you here in a while. Oh, it's been nice a little rig. Yeah. That's a small little one. It's 19 years old this year. The first feather light with a motor coach in. Very nice. Okay, so uh, it's Friday, day two of testing. Um, hey, a little uh, little update. So yesterday we ran. Uh, Jeff and I were talking about how we, uh, you know, the uh, the time on the car. We we did well. We thought, okay, we're within a tenth of our fastest lap. Lo and behold, we actually were a tenth faster than our fastest lap. So we were kind of laughing at that uh, la last evening. So the car's working well. Um, this morning though, we made some camber changes. We, we want to see if we can actually um, um, move the tires, uh, the heat through the tire a little bit better. You know, it's all focused on trying to get more uh, grip and more lap time, right? So we're gonna try that this morning. Now it did rain a little bit last night, so the track's not gonna be as, as uh, good as it was yesterday. So it's keeping that in mind, um, we'll see if it tells us anything, but we're gonna run out, um, do a few laps on the new camber changes. Um, worst case, we'll pull it back and we'll run what we ran yesterday and uh, leave it, but we'll see, we're, we're hopeful, all right? So we'll get out on the track here in a minute and see how, how it goes.
Okay, I'm in. Okay, so we came in after our first run this morning, right? How did it go, Jeff? Went good. <laughs> So we came in after our first run. We, um, we decided, as I told you earlier, we made a couple changes. Um, the more pronounced change was camber. I'm going to show you this on the computer because it actually is more telling than me just talking about it, okay? So let me spin around here. So Motec is what we use. Now this is our internal, uh, this is internal tire temperature. And again, if you haven't seen this type of thing, what we've done, so, so this is uh, the bottom of each of these rows, right? This is the four tires. So here's the front left, front, front left, front right, rear left, rear right, okay? And then the bottom of each of these is the inside part of the tire, and the further you go to the top of each row is the outside. So this is showing 16 samples of the inside of the tire. This is a great t tuning t tool for camber. So I'm showing you, this was a run yesterday, um, our fast run yesterday, and it was just the particular lap itself. And it shows you, it shows you the tire temperature. So the darker, the darker the color, for an example, down here in this bottom right, you can see the, the, the darker the lines and such. Um, you can see where the, the heat distribution is across the interior of the tire. You want it to be as spread as you can um, across the entire tire, um, and you definitely don't want one edge more than the other. So if you look at the fronts up here, um, that inside edge on both of the fronts was definitely more pronounced than the rears as an example. So that's, we decided to make some camera changes and we did. Now let me just click on our last run here just an hour or so ago. So watch this when I click, here's the new one. Look at that. So we took out negative camber. We're trying to move the heat more center tire and across the tire uh, effectively. Um, the rears, they look pretty good, um, possibly a touch more um, um, positive camber, a tenth or so of a degree. Um, this also allows you to look at your pressures as well, right? Because if you have too much pressure, um, you know, the out or the inside of the tire would be hotter than the outsides, that, that type of thing. But you can see here how the, the heat signature moved and the fronts were more pronounced even than the rear. Um, now, we just ran, it drove great. Um, but b based on that, we actually took a little bit more negative out camber of the front moments ago and we're going to go back out on track and see what it does. But I just wanted to show that to you. I think um, you might find that of interest. Wow. Yeah, so if I tip up the rear, then it goes to zero, and then it goes into the negatives. I still say we leave it there because the yeah. wing's horizontal like it's supposed to be. Yeah. What is it again? It's a positive 1.74. Yeah, it's supposed to be positive. Okay. Yeah, positive 1.74.
So we ran session two. The um, the rear, we didn't like the change we did in the rear of the car. Um, so we're gonna move that back to where it was. Just a small little arrow change on that. On the rear wing. On the rear wing, yeah. And then we're gonna do a touch more camber adjustment. Standing it up. Yeah, yeah. But overall, uh, the car feels great. So, hey, I'm gonna bring you guys along. I haven't done this before, I don't think. Um, we're gonna go up on top up here. One thing nice about this track, Eagles Canyon, is uh, they have a restaurant. So this is a uh, concierge kind of service thing over here. There's the wine of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Tara. She runs the uh, Texas region, uh, SCCA, by the way. So let's just go up here. I'll show you what this looks like. Jeff, what did you think of the last run? I think it was good. Yeah. Uh, we got traffic, so there was a little bit of that. We'll make those changes. Yeah. Get you a little bit more rear arrow. And uh, yeah, at one point it showed that Mark was going to run like a 46.3, um, but then he hit traffic. So predictive timer, that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. So this is inside. Oh, check this out. This is Aircon. Okay, this is sweet. Oh, this is nice. So this is what it's like to have an air conditioned restaurant at a track. So we're going to get some food. We'll uh, bring you back in a bit. So anyway, that's the restaurant, Eagles Canyon. Pretty cool, huh? So uh, let me show you where we, we get our tires mounted and balanced. One thing we don't have in our garage, we thought about it, but we haven't bothered, is to, uh, is to put a tire machine, all that in our garage, right? So this is where we go. And uh, you can see a handful machines tires so there's our stuff we'll pick them up so all right so here's the tire UTV <laughs> okay so I'm back from the track that completes two days of testing I just thought I'd give you an update kind of a quick rundown of what we were able to accomplish in in, in the last two days so um, I would say very positive. The car performed extraordinarily well. Um, broke another track record um, just in testing. But um, to highlight some of the items that we had done, um, if you had not seen some, some of the previous videos, uh, the car went through a pretty good upgrade. The, um, the body kit that's on the car now um, was a, a lot of work. Um, that, combined with a handful of other items, allowed me to shave 29 pounds off of the race car. So almost 30 pounds. That's a lot. Um, so there's that. And then the new front wing. It's a complete new profile and uh, far more aero efficient, more downforce and so on. A, a brand new motor in the car, you know, new differential. You get it right, quite a few things. The, the main items though, from a performance point of view, were the body kit and the front wing assembly. And so these last two days was simply just um, initially a shakedown of the car, but then to um, focus on balance and some changes um, uh, for handling purposes for the race weekend, right? So um, anyway, it went extremely well. Um, hopefully you picked up some of those pieces uh, through the course of this video, um, some of the camber changes and some of the things that we were doing on the car um, that are um, a pretty common uh, tuning uh, tool that many racers will do. But um, that's it for this video. But before I wrap up, I do want to share some news. And um, it's a change of focus for 2024. So next year, um, we're going to, we're going to go back to the runoff. So, uh, the last national championships I've raced at was in 2018 and, uh, kind of miss it. Um, and for some of you who do not know, so SCCA is a pretty large racing organization, uh, for sure here in the United States, they do pro a lot of amateur racing and their, their national championship 
Um, it's called the runoffs and it happens once a year. It's at different race venues around uh, the country um, uh, at different, you know, different years, right? And this next year, for the two, two years following, they're gonna have it at Road America. And, and I love that track. Um, I've been there a handful of times when we were with a Champ Car team, but uh, I've not raced on it myself, only in sim, that type of thing. So um, I'm telling you all this because uh, the runoffs is next year. Um, the best finish I've ever had at runoffs was a third, third place finish. I wanna see what I can do. So um, a lot of focus from this point forward will be prep work for that next year. So next year's schedule, we're gonna run Circuit of the Americas uh, early in the year. We'll run the U.S. Majors there. We'll run the um, Eagles Canyon U.S. Majors um, like we're doing this weekend. And we're going to uh, run at the um, June Sprints, which is another big event um, I've never been at personally, um, but that happens to be at Road America as well. So that would be all precursor work um, uh, to qualify to make it to, to uh, the runoffs itself. So I just thought I would share that with you and I'm looking forward to that. Outside of that, um, I wanna thank you for watching the video. I know some of these videos get long. Um, I try to compress them as much as I can. I try not to do too much talking even though uh, here I go again uh, rambling on quite a bit, right? But um, um, I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate your comments, um, thoughts and so on. And um, like I always say, until next time, okay? Ciao.